just as it's up to us to spot the wonders of life, so a photographer has to capture the moment that defines the image. Sought after wedding photographer Feroz Jaffa always has his eye out for the details that bring out the beauty of his subjects, and he shared his ideas on how to do it. Harsh sunlight usually isn't necessarily a photographer's friend, so often you'll find Feroz Jaffa out and about not long after dawn. How are you? I'm good, thanks. How are you? Good. Can I get two flat white, please? Take away for here. Uh, no, sit down. All right. A while ago, I decided I wanted to live la dolce vita, the sweet life, which meant I was going to surround myself with beautiful things and people. Today, I am surrounding myself with so much beauty in the form of Feyras Jaffa, a multi-talented creative who captures the sweet life in pictures. It's so good to see you. You too. I would have some coffee. Ah, thank goodness. Morning. Faye, why is World Cup so special to you? I mean, look at it. It's so beautiful. All the different colours. It's a melting pot of cultures, rich in heritage, loads of food vendors. I mean, what's not to love? Your coffee's ready. Ah, oh, thank, thank you. Thank you. Great. There's nothing like the smell of coffee. And that smells amazing. Feyros, where did you grow up and how has that influenced your creative thinking? I grew up in an area called Rylands. It's a very Indian area. My dad was from India, so I'm technically first generation South African. And I think I was very fortunate to travel as a kid, so my first trip was literally to India. And that's what sparked my creativity. How did you choose the main subject matter for your work? Initially, I shot whatever I could, and through that process, I discovered what I enjoy shooting. I really enjoy shooting people, emotions, moods, and light. Fashion is also something that I'm very big in, and Food as well, because I would say people always talk back, but food never talks back. What is beautiful to you? My life philosophy is to find beauty in everything. It's like the Sufi way of life. You know, you look at everything, you kind of see God, and you see beauty in every single object. But let's finish our coffee, then I'll show you. There's so many beautiful colours in Bukhara. You spoiled for choice, especially as a creative or photographer. There are so many people always taking photos, yeah. But I think it's really important to be respectful and not infringe on people's privacy. I mean, it's common courtesy because there's always an influx of people in the area. Ferris, behind the lens you become a storyteller. What kind of stories do you tell? When you're shooting fashion, you're creating this new world with the products and the models. With portraiture, you're kind of getting to the soul of that person and then capturing them. So I love telling the stories of people. Faye, who are some local creatives who are inspiring you at the moment? I think one of the biggest ones is Trevor Stearman. I think he's pushing boundaries and I really admire his work. But it's not so much the people that inspire me than places, one of them being La Reza Dance. I'm happy to show you if you want to come along. Are you inviting me to La Reza Dance? Let's go. <gasps> The drive from Cape Town to the heart of the Winelands gave Zaki an opportunity to chat to Feroz about his background as a business analyst and project manager. This occupied almost the first decade of his working life, at which point he decided to leave the corporate world and pursue his passion as an independent photographer and designer. By now, they had reached their magnificent destination. Hello. Wonderful to see you. Welcome. To the residence, mm -hmm. I'm from my garden Aww, view. Thank you very Hi. much. Hi, my name is Edward. Ferris, nice to meet Appreciate you. Nice to meet you, Ferris. <laughs> Please enjoy. Thank you. Thank you so much. Oh, wow. Faye, what do you love about shooting at places like La Residence? The opulence, the fact that you feel like royalty the moment you step into this place. That every single piece has been carefully curated to suit the style and aesthetic and I enjoy the architecture and the magnificent views and I feel like a Maharaja. Let's go take some pictures. The rugged beauty of the mountains offered a dramatic backdrop to the landscape property and Feroz found the interior spaces no less inspiring with lights, colour, texture and furnishings waiting to be framed in his viewfinder. 
say this room is absolutely magical. I know, right? That's the same feeling I get every time I step into the room. The amount of attention to detail that went into putting this room together, I think it's absolutely amazing. Faye, how do you capture the soul of a place? The place needs to speak to me, and through the right light and mood, I can then translate what I see into an image. Each suite has its own theme, and Feroz was clearly captivated by the visual poetry of the Maharani. in a creative space, how do you innovate? You need to expose yourself to everything in life. Try new ideas, try new techniques, and as a creative, you constantly need to evolve. Faye, a question I have to ask everyone is, what advice do you have for aspiring creatives out there? Don't give up, really. Just push and be true to yourself. Even though no one takes notice of you right now, there might just be that one moment where everything changes for you. I mean, Feroz, this view, these treats. Thank you so much for living the sweet life with us. Absolute pleasure, and I'm so happy that I could show you some of my world. Where do we even begin? I think you should try the salmon. What a treat. Oh, it's delicious.